The five car was just on pit road. Michael Conti, the point leader coming in, and is he's getting service now on pit road. Back up in front, it looks like Brad Davies and Robert Hall are getting at it. Robert Hall was flashing the nose underneath the number 11. He's still looking to the inside. About a corner number four, this time by 25 complete as the 11 of Brad Davies looks like he might lose two here. Yeah, it looks like Brad will lose a couple. But if you're pitting now, Tim, lap number 25, you know, you could probably go 55 on fuel, something like that, 55 on tires. If you're pitting now, you must really not like your setup because you're going to lose a lap pitting here, and you're going to find yourself way behind losing track position. And uh, if you're pitting now, you're, you're really suffering on that setup. I think if you're a guy like Mike Conti and even Nick Ottinger right now who was out front, and now he's about mid-pack, if you're really struggling with the setup, I agree with you, Nimia. I think you have to come on to pit road, especially if you're losing a whole lot of time like that. But if you're a guy like Josh Berry or Carson McClellan, who's absolutely flying at the front of this field, I think you need to stay out until that fuel runs out of that car and you're really forced to come down pit road. Yeah, definitely. There's a, there are a number of uh, real-world race car drivers here. These guys are obviously race car drivers, NASCAR sanctioned drivers in this series and Josh Berry right, right now he's a late model driver for Dale Earnhardt and a number of these drivers uh, Jake Sturr just drives uh, uh, super mods up in uh, New England area and a lot, a lot of these drivers run a number of different cars but uh, our leader out front right now drives late models on the weekends for Dale Earnhardt Jr. I saw the 52 of Pat Baldwin come on to pit road. Another one of those drivers that drives a late model, I believe it's at Kingsport Speedway, is the 18 you see on your screen right now of Daniel Pope, the second 47 just in front of him of Chris Overland. That's the battle for position number 27 down the back. And it looks like the 18's released a little bit of pressure that he had. He might be coming on to pit road this time, Nim. Watch the 18. Daniel Pope, the second, going to come down to pit road. There's lap number 29. So that's a, still pretty early for a pit stop. Uh, trying to make it through, so he's going to get some new tires and probably a new setup on that car, adjusted setup on that car, fuel, and he'll be on his way. 